Right now I have a Ryzen 3400G on a B450 motherboard, the Micro ATX. And it happens to be this motherboard right here from ASRock. And because I recently upgraded my main rig to a Ryzen 9 5900X from a 5900X, I need to update the BIOS so that this board would be 5000 ready. To do that, we'll need a, a flash drive. I've read somewhere where it has to be between 4 and 32 gigabytes maximum. Anything bigger, and it will not work. All right, we're going to put the, the flash drive in the USB port. Of course, it's always the opposite way, right? Okay, now we're going to go to it, and they tell me this is important. You want it to have to say FAT32 or FAT16. So ours says FAT32, so so far so good. Then I'm going to navigate to ASRock's website and search specifically for my specific motherboard. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, support, and BIOS. And I'm going to scroll down here. I've done a little bit of research already. And it's this one right here. Supports Ryzen 5000 series CPU. Supports Ryzen 5000 series G processor. So, so now I'm going to click on this instant flash. And you'll get this instruction screens right there. I won't read them to you. Those are the instructions. Then I'm going to come over here, click on global. The window pops up. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to open it. I'm going to copy it. Go down to our thumb drive. And I'm going to paste it. And now that's on our thumb drive. All right, now it's time to get in the BIOS. I'm going to get in the BIOS. I'm going to restart it. We hit the delete key to get into the BIOS. That's how I do mine. All right, first thing we gotta do is we gotta go to advance. We have to click on CPU configuration. And in order for this flash to work, we have to go down to AMD FT PM switch, click on it. We gotta disable it. Then we're gonna go to tool, and then we're gonna go to instant flash. It's gonna give you all these prompts here. You can read that. And it's gonna remind you here to disable the FTPM. Do you want to continue? Yes. There's our file there. We do want to update. So here we go. First time I've done this. And it's going to say, really? Do you really want to update? I'm going to say yes. Let's cross our fingers. Hopefully the power does not go off. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay, the update just ended. It's been well, between five and eight minutes. It says program success, enter to reboot system. Let's go ahead and do that. But I'm probably gonna have to go back in and re-enable the FTPM. So I wanna make sure I do that. This should go right back to the BIOS or the UFEI. Okay, we got that post right there. I wonder if it's going to boot to Windows or go to the BIOS. It should boot to the BIOS because we have to enable the FTPM. No, it went to Windows. It's asking me to set up my pin again. I'm going to restart and re-enable the FTPM. Okay, back into the BIOS. It was advanced. CPU configuration. Let's go ahead and enable that again. No, it, it reset the whole board, so I'll have to re-enable my DCOP. Or I think they're calling it the XMP. That's done, so I'm going to exit. I'm going to save and exit. Yes. This is what I call my spare bedroom PC setup. Amazon Basics wireless keyboard and mouse. 1995. Let's see. Okay, so I've done that. Nope, it wants me to set up my pin. So I'll be right back. Okay, it did make me put in all my Microsoft credentials to get back into Windows, but I am on Windows 11. But now it's time to put the Ryzen 9 5900X and replace that 3400G that's underneath that cooler right there. So I'll be back. All right, dropping in the Ryzen 9 5900X. All right, 5900X is in the socket. Let's get the cooler back on and see if this thing boots. Well, here it goes, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and push that right there. Let's try that again. Let's go ahead and push that right there. Power is on. The fan is not spinning, but it's lit. There it goes. Okay, that's good news. Come on, baby, let's post what's going on. Okay, there it goes again. 
Are we gonna post? Please post. There we go. Oh, you can hear those fans ramped up. That little fan right there, I'm gonna have to replace that with something like a Noctua or a 240 AIO because that's not gonna keep up with the 5900X. Azerox screen has splashed. The circle is spinning. That's a good thing. That's good news there. I'll come back. All right, we got to my screen. Come on. What's going on? Are we still thinking about stuff? Let's get the pin number in. And there we go. Looks like I have to do some drivers and whatnot. But let me come right back. But that whole, it took about two minutes to boot. And all right, about 10 minutes later, after rebooting a couple times, you can see right there, the AMD Ryzen 5900X is installed on the B450 motherboard. Thanks for watching, folks.